Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my one month update for Finish Six by Santa. This project was created by my good friend Elizabeth. She is at Cookie Pans over on Instagram. And the whole point is to just pick six products and work on them between August 1st and December 24th, I believe. So, like I said, this is my first update. This project has been going fairly well. I do have an empty, it was a give me product, so I guess none of us should be too surprised, but you know, even give me products can be difficult for me sometimes. I finished my Origins Plant Scription Multi-Powered Youth Serum. When I was talking about this in my empties video the other day, I knew this was in a project, but I could not remember which one until I had to get ready for this update today, and then I was like, oh yeah, that's the project this was in. Uh, this was very unremarkable. In the short time that I worked on this product, I did not develop any opinions or feelings about this whatsoever, but I'm always grateful for a sample of serum, and yeah, I used it up. It's all gone. We are down to just five products left in this project. There is one product I really haven't touched yet. It hasn't happened. That is my Jouer Skinny Dip Palette. I have been really zeroing in on a couple of eye looks and they don't involve this. I would love to get to use this some, but it has not happened yet. Um, what goal did I set for this? Do you guys remember what goal I set for this? Because I forgot. I think I was going to set the goal for like using each shade five times or ten times, something like that. I don't know what happened there, but I have not used this even once. So I will work on this down the road, but it hasn't happened yet. Everything else I have been using. I think the product in this project that I'm most excited about is the Dusty Rose from my ELF 100 Pan Palette. This was basically untouched a month ago when I put it into this project and I have a dip going on it already. Here it is right there. Can you see that dip? I had never used the shade even once prior to putting it in this project. And like the day after I filmed the intro, I tried that shadow out and I was just like, please be good, please be good, please be good. And it is such a good performing shadow. Obviously in this 100 pan palette from e.l.f., not every shade is a winner. Some just don't perform that well, but I am so happy to report that this shade is everything I was hoping it would be. I'm wearing it today. I've basically been wearing it every day for the past week. I do think it's possible I might have pan by next month. I don't know, but I can't believe how much of a dip I already have on this shade after just one month of usage. It's going very quickly, and I love this shade very much. It's everything I wanted it to be. Um, my goal for that shade is just to hit pan. So once I hit pan on that shadow, it's technically goal met for this project. But I imagine I'm gonna keep working on it even if I hit pan because I've just been enjoying it so much. It is a great shadow. So for all of you who think I should declutter this palette, there's a couple of good ones in here that are worth saving. So, nah, there you go. Okay, next is the blush from my Makeup Revolution palette. I rolled this into this project a month ago even though I was really trying to hit pan on another blush and I wouldn't really be able to work on this much until I achieved that goal. Spoiler alert for tomorrow's project update, I am working on this now. So it's only been about a week that I've been back to using this, but I am working on this every day. I think I managed to expand the pan a little bit already. One of the reasons I wanted to put this in this project is because these pans are not that big. They're like a small blush size pan. And I use this like 96 times just to hit pan. So I feel like I've used a good chunk of the product already. And I would like to see how much further I could get between now and the end of the year. Plus it's just a color I really enjoy. It's just a nice neutral pink. So uh, it goes with everything and it's a great blush, but I do think I expanded the pan a little, but I only have about a week's usage on this so far. That's okay, I'll take it. 
Okay, next let's talk about my eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. This is the shade Blacker. I have this in my waterline today. Not that you could really see it, but I am wearing this today. I'm not wearing this very consistently. I could wear this every day. It wouldn't be a chore, but I am trying to hit goal on a purpley eyeliner right now. So that's been my main focus. And this isn't getting a lot of consistent use, but that being said, I was able to make the tiniest of new marks on my paper. So I gotta show you. This is how long this product is. That's the bottom, that's the tip. And from the black line to the orange line is the progress I made. So not that much, but I'll take it. I'll take that little bit of progress, that's fine. And the final product in this project is my Benefit Realness of Concealness Mini Fake It Kit. There are two cream products in here. One is called Lemonade and one is called Boing. And my goal is to hit pan on one or both, but to just get a lot of progress on these two. I'm not working on these every single day but I am including them in the mix of under eye concealers from day to day. The best combination is using the two together. This one's a little too light and too yellow. This one's a little too dark, but if I mix them together, I get a pretty decent under eye concealer. So that's what I've been doing. I would like to try and use this as like an all over sheared out foundation and see if I could pull that off, but I haven't had a chance to try that out but I have gotten some use on this since putting in the project a month ago. And literally this was sitting in my office untouched for like the last five years. So I'm happy that I've used it a little bit this past month and I'm looking forward to getting some dips going on one or both of these cream products. Finally, I am ridiculous. All right, you guys, that is it for this update. It's a quick one, but this is a small project with only six, now five products. Aside from that Jouer Skinny Dip palette, I am using all of these products consistently. So hopefully I will have some more progress and hopefully I will start using that Jouer palette. I am panning a look. It's been going on for a week and I'm sick of it, but I'm so close to hitting my goal on one, if not both of the products I am trying to hit pan on. So I'll be talking about one of those products tomorrow and I'll be talking about the other product the day after tomorrow. So. We'll see how it goes, but this is the only eye look I've been wearing like all week long. All right, that is it for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out everybody listed down below who is also participating in this project. If you're participating in this project and your name is not down below, let me know and I'll add you in. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.